Here we have a JSON file of todos. Our goal is to learn how to take any JSON file and work with it from Rust. Let's hop into the terminal. As you can see, there's only one file in this directory. Let's initialize a new cargo project. Now let's add our dependencies. We're going to use the derive feature from Sared because we're going to want to be able to derive some traits. Next, we're going to add Sared JSON. This is going to let us parse JSON. The first thing that we want to do is create a Rust struct that will represent the elements in the array of this JSON file. I'm going to paste the JSON for reference. So let's create a new struct and call it to do. Let's create fields for each of these. User ID, that'll be a U size. ID will also be a U size. Title will be a string and completed will be a bool. Now that we've created our struct, we can go ahead and delete this JSON. We're going to use the Sared crate to deserialize the JSON into a to do struct. So we're going to import Sared deserialize as well as serialize. We're going to derive these traits on the to-do crate, deserialize and serialize, as well as the debug trait so we can have default formatting. With this, we should already have enough to parse a JSON string. Let's go back into our to-do JSON file and copy an element. And we'll create a const called JSON of a string slice. We can now try parsing this string. To do that, we'll import a function called from str from Sarah JSON. Within our main function, let's create a variable called res for result. And we're gonna use the from str function. This function requires a type annotation, so Sarah JSON knows what kind of struct it's deserializing into. So we'll write colon colon, open bracket, to do, close bracket. Next, we need to provide it with a string that it's gonna be deserializing, and that's gonna be this JSON string. Next, we wanna print the results. Now let's run this binary. After parsing this, we get an error. We get this error because our struct is using snake case, whereas the JSON itself is using camel case. And to fix this, we can use an attribute macro, user ID. Now, if we save this and run cargo run again, we get a result. Let's try reading from the file directly now. Let's delete this const and delete the contents of our function. We'll create a variable called JSON and we'll use the standard fs read to string function for the todos.json file. We're gonna unwrap this result because we know it exists. Then we're gonna create a variable called todos and we're gonna use the from str function again. But this time, instead of using just a single to do, we're gonna create a vector of them. And then we're gonna pass in the JSON here. Lastly, we'll print the results of the to-dos. This time we're going to use the pretty print formatting and we'll hop into the console and do cargo run. Here we can see we parsed all of the JSON files into a vector of structs that we can now work with. I hope that's enough to get you up and running with creating your own structs and figuring out how to parse them into a vector or something that you can use in your own Rust projects. See you around next time.